Okay, you know you you know I'm gonna ask you this. Mm. Okay, is your brother one of those who broke Hindra? You see, you can <coughs> check the um, do a Google search on him. Okay, on Vedamurti, he surfaced only after my detention. Until my detention, hardly anybody has heard of him. I think everybody will know this. Okay, so um, after my detention. He basically took charge. He was uh, overseas. He took charge of the Hindra movement. Um, of course, he was also slated to be arrested under IAC because one number ran. So his number, we, we guessed it was him. Initially, he was doing a perfectly fine job. Um, and then along the way, I believe there was a diversion. Along the way, there was a diversion. I began to sense it and I distanced myself from him. Um, of course, he joining uh, Barisan National was a complete shock. Lah. It caught me completely off guard, completely shocked. It was the wrong thing to do. Huh? It's, it's not right. And I think even the Indian masses, uh, until now, I think many have not forgiven him for that. And the feedback I get is um, they felt betrayed. Lah. Do, you, do you speak to him? Do you have any relationship? You see, with uh, put it this way, I'm not in touch with him. But uh, let's say my mother passed away. I spoke to him on one or two family matters. Yes, the answer is yes. But otherwise, um, uh, I feel that, see, all along, uh, all along, for many, many years, uh, when it comes to Indian poor issues, there are no takers from among the Malay political leaders, Chinese political leaders, and even the Indian elite. There are no takers because it does not, there's no or very little political mileage to be made. So nobody wants to talk about it. Now, as I see it now, he is raising some issues. Okay, he's raising some issues, so leave him, let him do it. Lah. So my complaint all these years was nobody wants to talk. When it comes to Indian poor, no takers, nobody wants to talk about it. Unlike in the Western civil society, Europe, uh, America, Canada, the, the majority whites will speak up for the blacks. In Malaysia, no, it doesn't happen that way. The majority and the minority, they want to speak for the uh, majority. Okay. So, like, if he's speaking up, why not? Lah? So but was this a sacrifice that you did, even, you know, the breakup of between the brothers? Was this a sacrifice that we will, you, 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 you foresaw when you, you, I mean... No, certainly I didn't, I didn't foresee this, no. Definitely no. Um, it caught me completely off guard. I, I didn't know about it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so uh, but, but if he turns around and asks me today, see, I'm, I'm being fair. Lah, right? If he turns around and asks me today, Okay, uh, he has not asked me, but I was just like pondering in, in, in prison, he got a lot of time to think. He turns around and asks me, okay, fine, I joined BN, I was a bad guy. What did you achieve within Pakatan? Even for the basic Indian problems, what did you achieve? I have no answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's be fair. Well, what did he achieve? Do you think he achieved I, anything? I, no, I think he did not achieve. He, to me, he did not achieve. But uh, while having said that it was wrong to join BN, but he did the right thing in resigning. Within eight months, he could not deliver. Mm -hmm. He resigned. I think to me, uh, he has set a precedent uh, to especially the 10 uh, elected MPs from Pakatan and also 20 elected uh, state assembly men from Pakatan. There are 30 of them. He has set a precedent especially for them, bearing in mind that uh, Barisan. Uh, Indian elected representative, foregone conclusion. I don't want to waste my time. So these 10 MPs and 20 state assembly men, 30, you know, it's a big number. If they cannot deliver, they must also resign. Authority is Vedamurti. But do he has said the president. And before him, nobody has ever done it. But do you think that was the reason why he resigned? No, I think simple. He could not deliver. When he could not deliver, it was abundantly clear. And then he resigned. I was think it, to? to me, to me, I think, uh, of course, uh, I think he did the right thing in resigning. Right. He has set the tone. He has set the president. You cannot deliver. You see, like uh, I had friends who were assemblymen and MPs. Okay, when it comes to the Indian poor problems, uh, we are not talking about the Indian lawyers, Indian doctors, Indian engineers. No. Uh, Seventy, eighty percent of the Indian masses are the Indian poor, working class group lower income group okay for example uh, in, in in prison uh, like on the Sundays uh, the prisoners Malay I ask him I ask the Malay prisoner what are you going to do when you when you go out he says um, 
I want to set up a burger stall in my taman lah, terrace houses, he wants to set up a burger stall. So I asked the Indian prisoner, can you set up a burger stall in your taman? He says, no. I asked, why not? The answer, straight answer, is because I'm Indian, they'll confiscate my stall within days. That is reality lah. Okay, so as an elected representative, I have friends who are elected representatives who cannot even get a kacambute license for an Indian at the grassroots level. I'm asking for basics lah. The Indian poor problems, basics lah. Okay, kacambute license, he has got no power to pick up the phone and speak to the YPD lah yang di petua, let's say Majlis Perbadanan Shah Alam or Klang, kenapa tak bagi lesen untuk uh, dia nak cari makan secara halal. Kenapa tak mau bagi lesen dekat dia? Basic, you know, we are not asking for the governor or bank negara's job. We are not asking for the director general of uh, home ministry. Uh, we didn't ask to be the Menteri Besar or the Prime Minister, no. Basic, we are asking for the basics. For, for being consistent and persistent in asking for basics, of course, our critics very easily, uh, um, they label us as, as racist lah, and say, oh, he's a racist. I think it's a very clever way to sidestep and sweep under the carpet a, a very serious problem.